A wild and violent ride from a courthouse leading police in a high-speed chase for miles and a 41-year-old behind bars tonight. 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson just back from Montcalm County and getting some new clues about uh, from his family and about why they think he acted the way he did, Danny. Well, Brian, Mark Dwayne McQuaig's mother told us off camera today that her son does have a history of mental illness and actually has been committed to a psychological hospital in the past. Now, she also told us uh, she was asking, uh, she was very concerned about if anyone was hurt during yesterday's events, and she also says she thinks her son may have actually been trying to kill himself. Because she heard the police talking. Lorraine Bennett had a front row seat to yesterday's police standoff in the 8,000 block of Peck Road. I was in the house, and all of a sudden, I heard all these sirens. And I looked out, and they were all across the street. Um, officers had rifles. They were pointing at the building. She says she locked her doors, view, and then... He came crashing out. And I could see, like, part of the garage, and looked like his muffler and stuff all laying on the ground. And then he kind of chugged along. All this after 41-year-old Mark Dwayne McQuaig allegedly broke free of deputies at the Montcalm County Courthouse during jury selection for a misdemeanor charge he was going to trial for. McQuaig allegedly led them on a nearly 20-mile chase to the Stanton storage unit where neighbors and the property's owner tell 24-Hour News 8 McQuaig had been living in a motorhome inside this unit for months. Once we seen his picture on the no. television, we knew it was him. And he was kind of a odd duck. McQuaig is charged with 23 felony counts, mostly against Greenville public safety officers and Montcalm County deputies. All the charges put together could carry prison time of up to 82 years, something Bennett says she's glad for because she can now once again feel safe on her street. You know, I'm just glad it's over and they caught him because you don't know if it's drugs, if it's gang, or wasn't quite sure what was going on. Now, McQuaig's mother also told us that her son is a good kid, but he's just messed up right now. She also says that she has been praying for him and says this might not be a totally bad thing because now he won't be able to hurt himself anymore. McQuaig is scheduled to be in court again March 15th. For now, at the live desk, Danny Carlson, 24-hour news 8. Back to you.